There's another factor here that was also taught in civics once upon a time that is no longer taught that I want to bring up. The states, the United States, it's a federated republic. What does that mean? It's basically 50 countries yes. under one banner. The federal government was set up to be a small, minimal government. Their only job was to negotiate tariffs differences, be- differences between the states. Well, there's tariffs. Tariffs, foreign national trade, defense. Which is what I was getting at, yeah. national defense, foreign diplomacy. Correct. And to manage our borders. Basically, four things. The federal government's job was to be the consigliere to the mafia that is the United States of America. Correct. The consigliere negotiates between each of the families, which means each of the states. Now we've got a federal government that is basically telling you that they own all of the states and by proxy, all of you. And I know there's guys out there that, oh, you can sovereign citizen. Oh, they own you through Social Security, this, that, and the other. And, you know, that's cute and everything. You can try that, but more than likely, they'll laugh at you and still throw you in jail and they fuck all you can do about it. But the thing that you can do is start pushing back at this township level because here's the thing. You're not wrong. You're just focusing on the wrong item. Those pieces of paper don't mean shit because if you get the federal government in check, that piece of paper doesn't mean anything anymore. Because the dog is on the leash hmm. and properly chained in the yard where it belongs. Yeah. You don't have to worry about a piece of paper. Things like income tax is blatantly illegal. Yes. Income tax is founded in? Uh, that was what? Uh, 1913. Yeah, right around World War One ish With the Federal Reserve. And it was supposed to be temporary. For war. War to raise forces. Uh-huh. To fight in a war that we didn't belong in anyway. That's another rabbit hole that I won't go down right now, but I know a hell of a lot about that one as well. So that income tax was supposed to be capped at 3%. You're now paying anywhere between 20 and 47%. 47% depending on your income of your money. How much of your money does the federal government own? Well, let's look at this. You you work, you get paid. Mm -hmm. They take your income tax. Yes. Then you go to buy your goods. And you're taxed on those, mm-hmm. right? And then you save up enough money, which you're taxed on twice. Yeah. You buy a house. Which is it taxed. goes up in value. Yes. You decide to sell it. They tax that as well. Capital gains. They tax you when you're born, when you die, and a thousand ways in between. It's fucking out of control. Yes. And we can do a whole show on that. On the taxing. only reason that they get it, let's do a show on that. Yeah, let me write that down. Let's yeah, do a be, show on that. Maybe we can even be fun. a musical. That'd be fun. Uh, I don't yeah. do, I don't participate in musical. I'm going to make you oh, please participate don't. in a Broadway musical. Oh, come on, Pop. We already know you do musicals. Come she on does. now. He does, he does. Oh! Come on. The, you remember Vegas. <laughs> Good timing. Is that, nice is that not, come paging, on, Bob, paging, you, you do paging musicals. Mr. Paging Mr. Von Baum. Look up the Oklahoma number when the wind blows, comes rolling down the road. <laughs> Stop it. Nice. Nice. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Yeah. I am. I am. Oh, my God. Uh, anyway, you got all these things that this federal government is doing now, and they have no business doing. Again, the way to push back is through the townships, up through the counties, and into the states. That's where we can actually take things back. That's the path. That's yes. the path. And I know there's FBI agents with little pads and pencils waiting for me to say, and then you can pick up the weapon. No, we're not doing that. It's, we, this is our weapon. Yep. This and, and this. Yes. We can yeah. shit talk. Yeah. We can fill out paperwork yep. and file lawsuits. Yes. Yeah. Don't listen oh, to Maxine. That's what we can do now. Don't listen to Maxine Waters when she went on the news channel the other day saying oh trump supporters are training in the hills and they're gonna uprise and this and that i'm like lady you know what that is for women like maxine waters you know what that is 
That's called a masturbatory fantasy. Uh, but here's These the thing. These women want big, strong rednecks driving monster trucks with huge guns and big schlongs to come down to Washington, D.C. and give them the rogering they've never had in their life. But, but let's be realistic here. The alphabet agencies, they marshal and operate out of the big cities. Yes. Okay. Say you got, uh, you know, 500 to 2,000 guys up in the boonies that are organized to, you know, do whatever. What are you really going to do to them? You're going to have to call up, like, the state national guard to come out. And listen, if if there's all kinds of craziness going on with, you know, the, uh, the election and there's all kinds of questions, there's probably a lot of people in that force that are not going to be very motivated to show up to and you know to to fall in line and do that the stuff. The way the alphabets do this is the way that they've been doing it since Randy Weaver and before. They find one guy, yep, that's well known within that community, that organization, that community, that thing. And yep. they pick him off. And they kill his wife while she's holding her baby in the backyard. Yeah. What that, that, that does really is send a very strong message, and it causes most of the time. What it causes is nobody to, to keep people from rallying. We've seen that fail once. The Bundy Ranch, uh -huh. when they tried to roll onto the the ranch, and hundreds of farmers showed back, showed up, took an overpass, and held the federal government off. Yep. Later on, they ambushed Clive and Bundy in an obvious rabbit ambush. Yeah, and he got off on he went to court and they found him not guilty. And, no, uh Lavoy Finicum, I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Lavoy Finicum, the old guy that was in a convoy and they did a rabbit ambush on him. Ah. Which is you know, where yeah. they come in, they hit the, the column and the guy in the front rabbits. That's the guy that they wanted. And then they pick him off up the road. That's what happened with Lavoy Finicum. They drove him into a snowdrift. He gets out, he's like a sixty five year old man, he's up to his waist in snow, they shoot him dead anyway. Yep, when, yep. They, when they obviously didn't have to shoot him. Yeah, well, that happens. Yeah, that's that's not. Listen, that's the kind of sending. Well, well that's, that's the kind of shit. Units. That's the kind of behavior that's going to kick the shit off. Yeah, because this this is so fucking obvious now. There's over half the country is lividly pissed. Yeah, and it, it's going to take something like that to happen. To, you know, for a lot of people to go, what? Right, this is insane. Next is going to be me. Fuck this. Shit's going to go down. Now, I don't want that to happen. No. I, I, I'm i old. All right? I don't want to see that. I don't want to see my friends or anyone else get, you know, tore up from the floor up. I hope we can fucking pull out of this nosedive. I really do. He's seen a lot more of the shooty stuff than I have by, by light years. Uh, even what little I saw, I don't want that happening on my home soil. I don't. No, I do not want that happening on my home soil. I would much rather go through the township clerks, wake, make my way up to the state and take our country back that way yep. and put the federal government back where it belongs as the consigliere of the 50 families. Because that's how we lost it. We literally were sitting there. Uh, everything's fine. Oh, well, the election's coming up. But back in, in the background, mm -hmm. they're taking over the schools. Yes. They're taking over uh, the schools all the way up the, through college. The media. The, the, they bought the media. We have all of that stuff. Disney is about to go fucking bankrupt because they've been producing. Oh, they can't handle it anymore. Commie propaganda for at least so what seven years now. I mean, come on. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporters Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat gazer box.